Well, now I'm really curious to see what this guy says about what we found. There was a few... I'm not even going to say omissions, but... Uh, he's had a tough go. He's had a real tough go. And he's very close by, actually. Didn't expect that. They forgot about us. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like... Like shit on their boot. I'm... Times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all... It's all going to hell. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Does he even remember Don't asking you understand? us? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are from this. What are you doing? That's, that's my history. Whoa. Damn you. Damn you. I still exist. Oh. <laughs> Some people may opt to kill him here, but we're just going to leave him. We found out that he was involved in slave trade. Pretty heavy. Look, the, see, good cowboy points. Maybe we could have killed him and, yeah, it would have been bad news, but. That was pretty intense. We've, like, I'm going to be on the other side of this. We stumbled upon these pretty gnarly moments once in a while. And, like, it gets really heavy out of nowhere. That case was definitely one of them. What was that? Oh, it's alligators. The level two alligator. Improved arrows or long scope rifle. Easy. Whoa. We'll take him. Oh, what's with this random cabin? Jeez, listen to the weird growls, man. I feel like if they wanted to just snap us out of the water, they could. Alright, come here. I'll cut back in here. We were able to take down an alligator that was a, a three-star alligator, but in, in the water, and we can't get him out of the water. So we'll have to stick to hunting on the ground where we can. But this area probably has a lot of them. So if we happen to ride by one that's a three-star, then we'll grab it. Yeah. 
With all the water, I think we'll stay on the path for now. Yeah. And then we'll ride by the the ah. riverbed. Private land. Okay, so these are probably all the horses that are involved here. Oh, maybe not. Just fields. The horses are around somewhere. Horse flesh for dinner. Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Correct. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Everybody and everywhere there's trouble. Who are you? Like I said. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my you know uncle. Who he's talking you know. about? That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And we've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. <laughs> I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. Jesus. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. The first horse that we sold was like five bucks. Just keep so us that away feels from like this. a bit of a stretch. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. All right. Hey! Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. <laughs> Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. Yeah, I heard. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's but, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Yeah! Yeah, there, okay. So how are we gonna play this? Jesus. The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. Fair point. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. That could bring more questions, like, why aren't you just approaching this normally? Careful. There's a guard. A 
I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. These guys really need to work on their guards. Someone will come see you. Help! I always kind of view like people in these times it would be a little bit more gullible. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Yeah. Alright. I think that's the state was just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Ha! That was good, boy. Let me do the talking. Uh, I am gonna grab weapons just in case. Backpack that. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, Thoroughbreds, expensive you ones. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here, you Scarface and your greaser buddy? Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. That's so. Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. I want to know this about this white horse. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. Until he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. The boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> oh, cool. My favorite horse. His coat might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners, but... Uh... Right in front of Father Time. My three, sir, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get oh, the nice. Two. That's cool. Okay, right, be cool, be boy. cool. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. Whoa, easy. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. It's okay. You'll be all right. All right. Wait. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Wow, shocker, there's problems. Get going, you- What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Uh, out of my damn way! Look out ahead! They're coming- Fields! Yeah. 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 yeah! 
Oh, why can't I tag him? That's really weird. Watch it. There's guards by that wagon. There we go. Yeah, I got it. Got it. Well done. Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, we're going to be all tangled go up. Smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> easy, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Could have went a lot smoother. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Whoa. Believe it when I see it. Come on now. Gotcha. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. Clay and Clive Davies. John, Arthur, Javier. Not twins. So what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Jeez. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Jeez. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 654. Not right. even close. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, Typical I hope. John Come Job. On. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Typical John Job. 
Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family, and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. You can sell horses to Clay and Clive at Clemens Cove. They'll pay more than a, a stable for stolen horses, but less for purchased ones. Makes sense. Let me just hit up the coffee and then we'll talk to Dutch or Hosea. Arthur! Arthur! Yeah, I'll be there in a sec. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shitholes. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. You're the boss. I guess Hosea can wait. Charles, I always wanted to go hunting with you, but uh, this will do, I guess. Let's get a little bit of candies going. Trying to just fill up that meter. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Look intimidating while you're at it. Oh, Pearson. Here. Oh, he's locked. Alright. We'll carry this with us for now. It's not a huge deal. The important stuff is all the three stars. Like your new home? I haven't we'll talked to him for a while. Place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. All right, Charles, you ready? Let's ride out. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney. Hold up a second. You can't keep up? Just ride with me. Come on. So, anyway, Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was going to play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. <laughs> Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. Hold up a second. Where are you going? Come on, Charles. You were saying, before you disappeared on me? <laughs> There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Yeah, because they think we did take it, but the money's still technically there. So Easy. it's kind of crazy. Talking about that original boat job that we bought. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Anybody here? Chop chop? Shit. This don't look so good. 
Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Oh, we got something in the bed. Let's take a look around. Someone got here first. Found anything? So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a Tactics social Tactics Kilgore mine, Mining Company. Certified Check as a common stock. Subject to the provision of the memorandum and articles of the associate thereof, and that the sum of what one dollar has been paid to each of the said shares secretary. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. You see anything there? There's something back here, Bed's but... It's not made, so he must have been here recently. A cigar. Don't need cigars. A pipe would be great. For Dutch, he asked for one hundred years ago. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. There's some blood here. That ain't good. There's blood everywhere. Look. Tracks. Come on. Cigarettes here. Can we get them? Ah, yeah, nice. We should get going. All right, boy. All right, we're tracking. You went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? Pretty damn good. All right, I guess. Well, it was good. <laughs> okay, follow me. Lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No. Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Wait, do we lose them? Yep. Cut over here. Whoa! Hey, I can see more tracks this way. Put up. Whoa. Got him. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange, sure. Formal, nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. Uh, oh, All here right, we go. Where the hell is? Why are they you hiding this? Get out of here! Come in! <laughs> Careful. You stay there. Oh, jeez, Javier. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Circle the beat. Yep. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. Better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, 
Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Was that so hard? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? Get out of here. You got lucky there, my friend. Come on, let's go. Actually, I'm going to see if this doing? guy has anything on him. Not bad. Well, I can't... I don't know if... Yeah, here we go. I think this is ours. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. That would be ideal. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Spending a lot yeah. of time around this place, and... You okay? I'm good. If we well, end up pulling off a heist so against both of them. Could be any one of a hundred things. It just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, man. Well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. I guess we don't know exactly what happened, but... Nothing's they had the cane there, forward. right? Where Trelawney's involved. Learn so, that much. I mean, he's involved. How much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Do you have any idea where you're going? Careful. All right, cool. Oh, maybe this shack here. That must be it. Yep. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. He just bolts. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're alive. Uh, allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. See one running through the cornfield. Don't deal with them, my brother. Who no knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. Quick, they're trying to hide in the fields. Look for disturbances. Oh, okay, okay. That's cool. I think there's one over here. Where is he? Where the hell are they? Come 
I got him. We got one more, Charles. Watch for the birds. Look at the birds. Go that way. He's put maybe it is that thing on the ground. Hey! I see something on the ground over here. No, it's okay, that's weird. He's dumped his gear. Look around. You can't have gone far. What the You would think like how hard it would, would it be to find people in these corn stalks, but Somewhere. What the hell? Whoa! He's mine! Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> nice. You should have taken the money. <laughs> no. Not too often we get snuck up on. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? I'm good. Yeah. Fine. What now? The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Trelawney. You alright? Yeah. Rare rolling block easy, rifle. Does it. Hello. Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feather. What is this? Made of light wood and black and steel adorned with carvings previously belonging to a bounty hunter named Josiah Trelawney. Found in a bar near Braithwaite Manor. This gun is a single shot weapon and can use regular high velocity split point express and explosive rifle ammo. Hot damn. I how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got a worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. I'm just curious to see if there's, like, anything going on up here, but it seems to be completely empty. Alright. Mr. Chucky, let's oh, ride, buddy. Boy. Let's go. Take me up there. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. I wonder if he lets me keep his uh, rifle. Attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was... An intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. 
looking for a job at the universe. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Another person saved. Another day, another savior. There always seems to be more. In Arthur Morgan. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. We're getting uh, a lot of these kind of introspective thoughts as we go along here. Oh, it looks like Trelawney's available now at the camp. Check this out. Josiah Trelawney wants to talk. I think we'll head to Hosea at the Braithwaite Manor first, though. So it looks like we can actually meet up with both. I was under the impression that we might have to pick between the two. Um, but maybe that only impacts uh, the order in which we do it. So we'll meet up with the stranger. We'll head down to the Hosea. And then we'll head back to the camp and see how it goes. So wish me luck. We'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Thank you. 